Hi, this is Ahmed from Integral Audio. Our channel is focused on audio and music production. Please subscribe if you're interested in this sort of content and don't forget to check our website for more in-depth reviews. The best advice for bad recordings is generally to just do it over. But it's not always applicable because some recordings are just irreplaceable. With that being said, when it comes to an alternative such as denoising or vocal extraction, it's almost inevitable that you would affect the voice one way or another. Either making it thinner, making it lose character, or resonance or warmth, whatever it may be, just depends on what frequencies you're going to be addressing. But there's always a good balance between a good final sounding record and a too processed clean record that just ends up sounding not natural at all, which makes it unpleasant to listen to. So in this video we will have a look at a um, dialogue extraction tool from Aiken Digital, and without any further ado, let's get on to it. This is an easy to use but very effective tool. It has a really simple user interface, so there's a big spectrum analyzer, which I really like, a knob for the amount of attenuation of the unwanted frequencies, and a sensitivity slider, and you could do that, uh, and you could use that one to adjust how sensitive it will be to uh, unwanted noise and signals. That's all you will have to do, and the algorithm detects and separates the dialogue from the surrounding conditions on its own. But if you want to adjust certain frequencies to either be preserved or removed, you could do that with the three bands that are present on here on the display. And if you boost up, it's going to increase the sensitivity to that area. And if you go down, it's going to decrease the sensitivity to that area. So you just leave these frequencies unaffected. And if you use your scroll wheel up or down, you may be able to change the shape of the shelf. So now let's have some audible examples and let's see how it sounds. I have prepared a few examples. Some of them had decent qualities to begin with and just some minor noises that could be easily addressed. And some others are just really old and low quality, so they are supposedly going to give this plugin a real challenge. So let's just see how good the outcome is going to be. I am recording this on my iPhone right now with my windows open. It's 11 in the morning right now and looks like a good day. Here I'm listening um, to the noise in solo so I can get a pretty good idea of how much dialogue was actually cancelled as well. Like if there's um, many frequencies that were just identified as noise in my voice that were cancelled as well. Because of course it's going to take away from, my, um, from the resonance of my voice and like the characters as well. But it's very minimal. I am recording this on my iPhone right now with my windows open. It's 11 in the morning right now and looks like a good day. Here is a very simple recording with my microphone now. I have a fan running in the background and there is probably some hissing coming from a microphone as well. So yeah. This is probably the best results I ever got with any noise removal plugin. The voice is almost all clear and natural, but this is the result you could obtain if you generally follow good recording practices. It will make denoising really easy with such tools. You would definitely benefit from this if you're a singer or a podcaster with imperfect surrounding conditions. Here is a very simple recording with my microphone now. I have a fan running in the background and there is probably some hissing coming from a microphone as well. So yeah. First distinguished guest of honor here today, we say once again how proud we all are of him.
How proud we are to be Americans. First distinguished guest of honor here today, we say once again how proud we all are of him. How proud we are to be Americans. Relax. Keep your eyes fixed on this light. Keep them fixed. This one, the third. Relax. Keep your eyes fixed on this light. Keep them fixed. Before receiving the first degree of the sevenfold ray, your mind must be white and blank. You are already feeling sleepy. Do you hear me? Yes. Relax. Keep your eyes fixed on this light. Keep them fixed. Before receiving the first degree of the sevenfold ray, your mind must be white and blank. <laughs> come, come, don't flat, please. <laughs> <laughs> come, come, don't flat, please. <laughs> Have you never been to the seaside? Please. <laughs> Have you never been to the seaside? Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> So far, the only human sound it wouldn't recognize perfectly was the laughter. As we saw in the last example, it was identified as unwanted noise, and it was suppressed. Even after I tried to find the frequency range where it actually occurs, I wanted to spare it or even decrease the sensitivity or attenuation rate, but it was still cancelled nonetheless. But other than that, it was really good, and the quality just really blew my mind for what it is. And... Even for the very old recordings, it still sounded really nice and totally acceptable. And you could really understand what they're saying. This is me talking live through Akon Digital's extract dialog. This is a plugin that you would definitely enjoy using for live sessions. And it's just very, very easy to use. All I did was just load it up and already the noise was like 100% gone. But because I really didn't want any un... I kind of just decreased the attenuation rates. So instead of like being at 60, which is the default, it just brought it uh, down quite a bit. And that's all. I also tried to record the guitar track to see if it would be useful in removing the noise. But of course it didn't work, and that's okay. Um, I just wanted to try to see if that was at all possible, but yeah, it's not. And just wanted to let you know. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful and insightful. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to check our channel for more plugins like that. If you are concerned with audio restoration and denoising and that's audio related um, in the sense of production. So until next time, thank you.